Are any of your drums haunted by unexplained sounds or phantom buzzes or distortion? This one is. I'm going to show you why and what you can do to fix it. Let's get into it right now. As you play your drums, things can start to loosen up from tension rods to lugs, mounting hardware, heads, and more. Things are going to start to speak to you, and you are not going to like what they have to say. This is the 12-inch tom from a Yamaha Stage Custom Birch Kit at the school where I teach. Why is it always the 12-inch tom? Seriously! This kit is about four years old, and just a few days ago it started making some really strange noises. I'm going to show you what was wrong with it, how I fixed it, and also give you some simple solutions to some common problems that cause you unwanted noise in your drums. Before you start, I recommend you take the drum off the drum kit and work with it by itself. You can use literally any flat, stable surface. I'm going to use a drum throne. I also like to use a drum throne because I can rotate the drum while I work with it without having to pick it up and set it down. If you use something like a table or a countertop, you may want to throw down a towel or some other cloth to prevent scratching and damage, but also to help catch any parts that might fall. All of these solutions are really simple and quick, and the only tools you're going to need are a drum key, a couple of screwdrivers, and a small crescent wrench. Okay, here we go. First, check for loose tension rods. This one is very common, especially on the bottom or the resonant side of the drum. Modern lugs and tension rods are actually really good at keeping themselves in place, but they can still come loose over time or if you have a period of really intense or heavy playing. To check for this, gently wiggle each tension rod around the drum. You may even just be able to see it. And when you find the one that's loose, use your drum key and very gently and slowly bring it back up into tension. Don't overdo it. Not only will an over-tightened lug bring the drum out of tune, but it can also loosen the tension rods around it. If you find that this is a recurring problem for you, you may want to get some lug locks. These are specialized washers that go between the tension rod and the hoop, and they can help keep those tension rods from backing out as you play. The best way to keep your tension rods from coming loose is to make sure your drum is always in tune so that the tension is even on every tension rod all the way around the drum. The next thing to look at is the external mounting hardware or the mounting bracket. This is what will connect your tom to the bass drum or the tom stand or whatever it is that is holding that drum up. This one is even a little bit more problematic because if a screw comes loose and that bracket starts to move around, it can cause a little bit of damage to the shell or to the finish of the drum. And it can also cause the other screws and nuts and bolts, whatever's holding it on, to come loose as well. So you're going to want to catch this one quickly the minute you start to sense that something is loose or rattles. Test this one by gently tugging or trying to rotate that mounting bracket. It should really have no play in it at all, so any motion whatsoever will be a warning sign. For this problem, if the screws or the mounting hardware is located on the outside of the drum, you can just gently take a screwdriver and tighten it back into place. You may need to take the drum head off to fix this one, and we'll get to that in just a second. Again, if your mounting bracket has been loose for any amount of time, it's very likely that the other screws and bolts are loose too, so make sure and tighten all of those up. The next thing to check is the lugs. Just like with the mounting bracket, you can check this by grabbing each lug and then gently trying to wiggle or twist it. If there's any play at all, these need to be tightened. To get to your lugs, you are going to have to take the head off the drum. And then using a screwdriver or a crescent wrench, go through and tighten the connectors back up on that lug. And for me, while I've got the head off, I'm going to tighten every single lug or at least check and make sure. With the head off of the drum, check absolutely everything that's connected to that shell lugs, mounting hardware, snare mechanism or butt plate, and also be sure to check the vent holes. With this particular drum, this ended up being the problem is that that vent hole casing or grommet had come loose. Just like with tension rods or any other piece of hardware, these vent hole grommets can work themselves loose over time. I've been fortunate in my career to be able to play quite a few drum sets brand new, fresh out of the box, and almost every single drum I've played that was new needed this grommet tightened within the first month or so of playing. In fact, I was kind of amazed that this was the first time on this drum set, almost four years in, that it needed to be tightened. So again, another great habit to get into is just to tighten all the hardware on the inside of the drum every time you change a head. One more common problem that can cause distortion and buzzing is if a head is really badly out of tune. 
In fact, if your drum had the problem we mentioned earlier of having loose tension rods, you may have had this problem too. Without getting too technical, test this by placing one or two fingers right in the center of the drum head and press down gently but firmly. You should see some wrinkles start to appear on one side of the head. If you have coated or thicker heads, you may need to run a finger around the edge of the drum to feel for the wrinkles. Once you've found the wrinkles, find the tension rod that is the closest to the center of those wrinkles and gently tighten it until the wrinkles start to disappear. You may also need to tighten the tension rods that are the immediate neighbors of the one in the middle and just go slowly, make sure you're bringing them up at roughly the same tension until those wrinkles are completely gone. Not only will this kill off that annoying buzz, it should bring that drum head roughly in tune with itself. And once the drum is in tune, you'll get a nice open and resonant sound free of buzzing. Of course, there are some other reasons that a drum might be giving you unwanted sound or distortion, but these tend to be the main culprits. And luckily, they're a really simple fix and don't take a lot of time. Maintaining and repairing your own drums can be a lot of fun. And for most drummers, it gives us a sense of pride of knowing that we know the kind of shape our drums are in and they're always in top form. So don't be afraid to pop the hood as it were, figure out what's going on in there and make sure that your drums are functioning the way that you want them to. Again, many of the issues that you'll find along the way are pretty simple to fix. I hope this video was helpful. As always, I'm really glad you decided to stop by. We'll see you in the next one.